human being is a part of a whole. All by us, the universe. A part limited in time and space. He experiences himself, his thoughts, and feelings as something separated from the rest, a kind of optical delusion of his consciousness. This delusion is a kind of prison for us, restricting us to our personal desires and to affection for a few persons nearest to us. Our task must be to free ourselves from this prison by widening our circle of compassion to embrace all living creatures and the whole of nature in its beauty. He who joyfully marches to music rank and file has already earned my contempt. He has been given a large brain by mistake, since for him the spinal cord would surely suffice. This disgrace to civilization should be done away with at once. Heroism and command, how violently I hate all this. How despicable is war. I would rather be torn to shreds than be a part of so base an action. It is my conviction that killing under the cloak of war is nothing but an act of murder. One of the strongest motives that lead men to art and science is escape from everyday life with its painful crudity and hopeless dreariness from the fetters of one's own ever-shifting desires a finely tempered nature longs to escape from the personal life into the world of objective perception and thought. Now that he has departed from this strange little world ahead of me means nothing. People like us who believe in physics know that the distinction between past, present, and future is only a stubbornly persistent illusion. The further their spiritual evolution of mankind advances, the more certain it seems to me that the path to genuine religiosity does not lie through the fear of life and the fear of death and blind faith but through striving after rational knowledge. The most beautiful thing we can experience is the mysterious. It is the source of all true art and all science. He to whom this emotion is a stranger, who can no longer pause to wonder and stand wrapped with awe, is as good as dead his eyes are closed. The release of atomic power has changed everything except our way of thinking. The solution to this problem lies in the heart of mankind. If only I had known, I should have become a watchmaker.